Hey guys, Eileen Vick here for Junk Journals by Eileen Vick. And I am here tonight to show you my latest design. I am so darn excited about this. I can't wait to walk you through this. I think you're going to enjoy it. And hopefully we'll have some fun while I'm showing this to you. All right, so let me pull out just a little bit so we can see the whole thing. This is my latest design. It's very custom, actually. And this particular journal is 8.5 by 11. It is like mega thick. <laughs> Look at that. Hey, We got lots of things to go through tonight, so we'll have a lot of fun. And this particular design, there's actually two aspects to it that I want to show you. Let me move up just a little bit here. Get you centered so you can see what the heck is going on. This particular journal is made out of a man's shirt, the cover of it. And... I've done it in such a way that this literally, you can reach in here in the top and you can actually store stuff in it. Ugh. Let me unbutton it for you. I think it's kind of cool. And what it does is you can completely open this shirt and this is the inside. If you want to, you can store things in it. <clears throat> you can put your notes in here if you want. You can put paper in here if you want. Um, I may even surprise you when, <coughs> when I send this off is that I'll have some paper in there. I'll just plan on doing that, and that way you guys will know actually that there is um, uh, an opening in here. So... What I'm doing is I'm making this out of actual men's shirts. And one of the variations that I'm selling of this is I am making available a memorial or if you <clears throat> want to call it a remembrance journal. So... There are lots of aspects here that this um, can be used for. I'll have to button that later and fumble fingers right now. <laughs> but I'll go ahead and incorporate any shirt that you want in here. If you have um, someone that is a sports nut, I'll try to button this while I'm talking to you. This is so silly. <laughs> We can go ahead and put their shirt on here. Um, if you have somebody that likes a particular type of shirt, I can go ahead and incorporate that on there. All sorts of, of uses for it. But the main thing, too, is if you have a loved one that has passed away, an uncle, a father, a brother... Um, I can work with you and use one of their shirts and then customize the inside of this journal towards that person. So, for example, if that person likes sports, there will be a number of pages in here that are sports themed. If that person loved basketball, then I will have basketball things in there. The point is, it'll be a wonderful, wonderful remembrance journal. So, if you are a child of a parent that has passed on, and there's a remaining parent, this is something that they may um, appreciate as a beautiful, beautiful reminder of their loved one. Alright, so, the ideas are endless as to what shirts I can use for this. The button ones are the best because, of course, it creates an extra pocket there. And it's just a beautiful design. All right, so let's get going on here and go through with this. This is a pretty massive journal. There are 38 sheets 
in here. So a sheet is a back to back. That means there are 76 pages in this particular book that is for sale, by the way. And then there are two additional ones on the front cover and the back cover. Now, as you can see, that shirt also wraps around all the way. So that's really neat about this particular design that I've come up with. All right. So I did a little play on the idea of this book. Shirts for sale, t-shirts. Um, you know, a t-shirt design here, and just for fun, <laughs> on this particular one, I put a little bow on there. I thought that would be cute. So, there's lots of writing space in this. Now, again, this particular book was not geared towards any particular thing because it's for a general sale, but there are a lot of removables from here. We have the envelope that has the cards inside. Again, tons and tons and tons of writing space. This one here, the pages open up, so of course there's writing space there. You can see that. This opens up, Life is a Dream. This is an envelope here, and this also has inserts in there. Everything that has um, an envelope or a pocket will definitely have inserts in there. More on that later. All right, let me go to the next page. This side here, lots of writing space as you can see. And this one is um, a flat design fabric right here writing space on the pink and the brown and of course on this area of here. So again, just lots and lots of it. Here's a cute little envelope here. And of course inserts. I had fun making these cards. We've got some shinies on here. And each card is blank on the back so you can go ahead and write to your heart content. All right. Then I've got a split page here. These are wood butterflies for decoration. Writing area on this side, of course, open areas. This is a pocket, and it will have inserts put into it. I mean, this thing is absolutely massive for writing. All right, let me turn you just a little bit. There we go. We'll get you get straightened up here. <laughs> Ooh. There we go. And then this has a tissue in it, decorated. This has a nice little flip out on it on the bottom. I mean, there's just all sorts of little cubbies here. Here's a flip open for writing, pocket, decorative cards. And there are positive affirmations to this as well. For example, you don't have to be perfect. Um, you don't have to be perfect to be amazing. All right, let's see what I did here. So when you pull this out, we have a little flip card open here. Again, lots of space for writing. All right. I think I actually ended up overstuffing this, but that's okay. <laughs> you get a lot of bang for your buck. So here we've got flip out little note areas here. And this flips as well, so you have front and back on that. We've got a bend up pocket here, again with more insert cards. Love doing this. This was a this was a fun page to do. All right, 
And this has, um, I put a booklet in it. Little designs, little shinies on here. Crinkled paper and hearts. The detail is just endless, guys. Now, you have a lot of areas to write in between the lettering. Here's another insert with more cards to write. Okay. Then on this page, open area. Decoration. These are all hand decorated by me. You have lots of writing area around here. And on this spot here, we've got a little booklet. So check that out. And again, guys, we're talking 78 pages here, so it's pretty, it's pretty involved. And this has a little Velcro fastener, so that fastens right there. And then you go ahead and put your clip down, and then everything is fastened. All right. I've got lots of Heidi areas here. Flip out there. This flips open and is designed. This flips open. And this flips open. Oh, and on this particular one, I wove my own design here. Do you see this? Zoom in. Zoom in. So see, this is all woven here with paper strips. This happens to be a dog theme. Zoom out. Zoom out. Zoom out. All right. Then we have dreams, hopes, thoughts, feelings, notes, writing space here. Pockets here. I mean, there are pockets galore on this particular book. More insert cards with design on them. Oh, there's a third one. I just had so much fun putting this, to, this particular one together. And then we've got inserts here. So this is a double pocket page. Writing space here. And of course, writing space on the back. Then this is open here. This is open. Tons of writing space on here as well. So you can see, again, that's the whole theme of this book. This has fabric pieces on it, um, you know, my cloth. Stamp design here. Stamp and template design. Um, this one is particularly intriguing. We've got a pocket right here. We've got a pocket right here. And, voila, envelope. With multiple cards in it. Again, lots of places for wrapping. Oh, writing, excuse me. <laughs> All right. We'll put that in there. Now, I don't know about you, but I love a journal that's got, you know, good pockets in it. Okay, so this is one long continuous pocket. Now, the other neat thing about this particular book. Okay, this opens up here. This is an open card here with journal cards. Is I've gone through and I've made bookmarks for you. And these are heat sealed. Heat sealed paper, also decorated. So you'll see several of these different designs throughout the piece. And this little guy here, it's got a little instruction on the bottom. It says lift here. 
and when you lift here, more writing space and notes. Check it out. So I got to tell you, if you hate pockets, this book is not for you. <laughs> Who hates pockets? All right, so we've got a little slip-in book right here, little booklet. Love comes in all shapes and sizes. How cute is this? Puppy love. So that goes in this pocket. And then in this pocket, again, another design bookmark with our little lace at the top. Then in this one, three separate pockets as you can see and three little mini spacers again heat sealed I love it I've had so much fun doing this particular book I almost hate to sell it all right lots of writing here fall in love with taking care of yourself mind body spirit now, this guy, this is actual metal piece here. You'll find this in my books as well. Tons of writing area on here. And then we come to this. This is about the center of the book. It's one page away from being the center of the book. I, I love this graphic. But I went ahead and I added some inspirational quotes for you. And then, of course, you can fill in for yourself. All right. Here's another little lift surprise. This whole piece actually comes all the way off. And this has inserts in it, again, with our blank cards in the back. So this is lots of fun. This page here, I put in metal keys. I thought that would look cute. Um, I've got a little dangly key here on a pin. Again, lots of writing spaces here. Here's a little teeny tiny pocket. Again, I will go ahead and fill this up for you. More pockets here. Check out the design, and then you've got pockets on the top and the bottom. So this particular page, this has four pockets. And then, of course, we've got all the floral design here. All right. Envelope. Envelope. Crossfold. Envelope. This one's pretty exciting. I love it. Now, don't forget that if you choose this as a memorial, um, a memorial journal, or even a journal for a sports lover, or a crafter, or whatever the case may be, I will customize numerous pages in the book to address that. All right, folding page here, writing. Whoops, that doesn't belong in there. <laughs> Lots of affirmations here with my bow with the uh, bow design. For some reason, I don't know why, but this is my this is my favorite page right here. I just thought it looked really cool. Okay. Stripes on this page. I will be adding a couple more things to this yet. But here we've got two pockets. And again, this is the laminated bookmarks or whatever you want to use for this. I will be designing different ones as well. I've, I'm actually going to put um, some rose petals laminated inside one and then we've got another 
two cards here, and that goes into this pocket. All right. More writing areas here. Lots of design. Got a huge, huge page for notes. Now, I happen to love sequins. And I love this particular picture of the um, horses drawing the wagon. So I went through and put sequins on here. This is a tree. Lots of writing area. And I actually put um, Mod Podge over the horses. And I put it over the notes here. The N-O-T-E-S. Alright, lots of little goodies here in this band. Larger cards to write on. These are really good sized here. So, guys, there are lots of ways that you can even add your own. And then, of course, big, huge page here surrounded in lace. And then this page has a flip up. It's blank right here. You can write in here. You can write in this whole area. Envelope. And of course, our cards in here. All right. And then our little saying down here creative people are curious, flexible, persistent and independent with a tremendous spirit of adventure and a love of play, Henry Matisse. All right, open area here. This is a dual pocket right here. Now, this particular one has the um, plastic on the back, the seal. And this is fabric on this side. I thought that that was pretty cool. And if you're observant, you'll notice that this fabric is from the shirt that I used on the very front. Then we've got a notes area right here. Fold out page, folding page, writing page, blank page, blank page, blank page. Tons of it. This one here, I love this one, Elephant Designs. This is all fabric here is the base. This is fabric. And then I've got little um, notes here, our envelope, and our cards. And this one here, big open area. This is fabric based up here. This is an elephant stencil. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, you can see that clearly. With our grass and our bottom here. Then we have an area that says air mail. More writing area. Now. This is a really interesting page, and I will be stuffing this as well. This is a six-pocket page. Let me show you here. So we've got one here. One here. So there's two. Three. Number four is here. Number five is here, and number six. So all of these are going to be stuffed with goodies. All right. Writing area on this side. Flip up. Here's an insert area right here. insert your own notes. 
Lots of writing on this one. <clears throat> We're almost to the end. Have patience, guys. And then this little guy opens up. And we've got inserts right here for you to pull out. This is cool. And of course, you can write your own notes. Check that out. Isn't that cool? So that's two of these. And same thing on this side. And then we've got this page here. I love this picture. So these have beautiful related quotes. Beauty is not caused. It is Emily Dickinson. The happier you are, the more beautiful you become. Anonymous. To be beautiful means to be yourself. <clears throat> you don't need to be accepted by others. You need to accept yourself. Thai not Han. And then this is my little artistic work that I put on the bottom. Okay. This is an interesting page on the left. We have Velcro dots, and these all open up. That one opens up. This one opens up. And this one opens up. So you sure can't say that you don't have a lot of room. And then we've got a writing area on the bottom. And I'm going to be adding probably um, another pocket on this side. All right. Then we've got the end here. Again, abundant, abundant writing area on this. And then our back cover. And this back cover is the same as the front cover. So, again, this is my journal. I call it a shirt journal, and it's also a memorial shirt journal. If you have a family member that has passed, a grandfather, or, um, a father, I can go ahead and customize. I'll work with you, and I'll customize this, this, the inserts of the journal for you. And the covering of the shirt completely goes around the back. So this is front and back cover. And you can see that. So I'm pretty happy with it. I hope you are. I had a blast doing this, and I'm having it a blast. I'm having a blast showing it to you. All right, guys. This is Eileen Vick for Junk Journals by Eileen Vick. Cop um, contact me by Messenger if you're interested. I'll pro I'm going to have it up on Marketplace, and let me know. All right, guys, take care. Thank you so, so much for your time. And I will see you later. Bye.